Welcome to Civitai.com, the home of the generative AI art community. If you enjoy this video, please consider hitting us with a like and subscribing as it'll go a long way in helping us continue to bring you the highest quality AI community content. Please enjoy the video. Along with our other great sponsors, we here at Civitai are extremely proud to be hosting the first ever Project Odyssey AI film competition. In this video, we're gonna cover just a couple of the ways you can utilize Civitai.com to help you create your next AI film masterpiece for Project Odyssey. If you haven't yet, be sure to check out projectodyssey.ai for all the details on the competition. But for now, let's hop on to Civitai.com. All right, so here we are on Civitai.com, and if my homepage looks a little different than yours, don't worry, it's just because I customized my home blocks. If you don't know what I'm talking about and you weren't aware you could do that, well, in the top right, once you're logged into your account, you go to this little gear icon and you can actually rearrange and drag around the sections of the homepage based on how you wanna browse the website. It's really convenient and it makes it really easy to get the exact experience you want and to streamline everything as soon as you come to the page. So I highly recommend doing that. AI filmmaking. So the first way we can utilize Civitai.com to make our AI film for Project Odyssey. Well, if we are using anything that is stable diffusion related to make our film, we are going to need a model. And luckily, we are the largest model repository on the internet. So if we just go ahead and click models up in the top left hand corner, we are going to be met with a bunch of high quality stable diffusion models with everything from stable diffusion 1.5 to Excel to Pony. Now, most AI video and animation happens in either 1.5 or Excel. So if we go to the filters section in the top right and we filter it by SD 1.5, maybe SD 1.5 LCM because we want to see LCM models if we want to generate things even faster or SD XL 1.0. Well, we can filter everything else out. And now we are only seeing stable diffusion 1.5 Stable Diffusion LCM and Stable Diffusion XL models. Nothing else is in there. And this is being filtered by the highest rated. So we can also go ahead and change that to most downloaded, most liked, most discussed, and literally any style you wanna generate your film or animation in, you can find it here on our model page. All you gotta do is look through it. Do you wanna make anime? Do you want it to be realistic? Once you find the model you like, if you go ahead and click into the model card, there is a download button right here, but do not miss out on all the different versions of that model that you could experiment with on the top, right above the images. Up here, if you see each one of these little blocks, is a different version of the model and different versions are good at different things. And if you expand the description, the creator of the model sometimes writes what the difference between the versions are, but you might have to go to that version page to see what the difference is. So step one, figure out what style you want your AI film to be in. Step two, figure out your model. Step three, find the right model version and do not be afraid to experiment because the best things happen when we experiment. All right, so the next thing that we can use Civitai.com for, which is probably the biggest key ingredient to AI filmmaking animations is your imagery. No matter which way you're choosing to make your AI film or animation for Project Odyssey, you're going to be doing one of a few things. You're either doing text to video, image to video, or video to video. Text to video, okay, maybe you don't need imagery because that is just prompting. But with that method, you are rolling the dice really hard on random because you're just putting words in and hoping it gives you the thing that you have in your head. If you choose to do image to video, you need imagery that you generated in either stable diffusion or mid journey. And then you take those images into something like SVD or Runways Gen 2 or Luma AI's Dream Machine. And you can bring those images to life and give them motion. But we have to find or generate the right images first. So to do that, here we are back at the homepage on Civitai.com and right here we have the featured images. Now we can just click on images 
up at the top, which will bring us to the whole image gallery, or we can click on explore all images in the featured images block. This is going to bring up a whole bunch of different styles of imagery, and these are being filtered right now by most reactions of all time. So these are literally the most reacted images on the website, period. If you want some inspiration, there's no better place to start because this is what people are liking. Now, let's say we're scrolling and we see something that we're really inspired by. Like the first thing that really caught my eye when I'm thinking about AI filmmaking right now is this kind of like dark Kraken sea monster thing. Now, when we click into the image, it's going to show us on the right hand side, not only the comments and reactions, that's good and everything, but we want to look down here at the generation data because we are going to see the models and resources this person used to get this style. Maybe we want to generate this locally on our own PC, in which case we will have to download these resources and use them in either automatic 1111 or comfy UI ourselves. If we're just trying to iterate and do this on the fly, well, in the top right hand corner of the page, there is the remix button. If you click on the remix button, it's going to bring up the image generator and preload it with all of the information and resources you need to recreate this image. And now you can adjust the prompt and the settings and tweak this image to your liking for whatever your AI film or your animation needs and what you would like to bring to life. So you can alter the prompt, alter your settings, and then on the very bottom here, you can select the quantity of how many images it'll generate for you at one time. And you can do this all on site. Nothing has to be downloaded. You don't need anything on your computer. You can even do it if you're on a Mac and you don't have a high powered GPU video card. This is how we get our imagery from Civitai. And we can literally do this for almost any image. Any image as we're scrolling around here that has the little paintbrush symbol on it, well, we can remix that image in the image generator, even just as we're scrolling right here. And it's gonna show us the exact prompt that they use along with certain trigger words, what they put in their negative prompt, and it's going to load all of the resources for that image. Great films and great animations all start here with your imagery. And last but not least, how we can utilize Civitai.com to assist us in our AI filmmaking. Well, let's say you spent hours, you found your model, you found some images, but you're just not really feeling them or you're not quite getting exactly what you want. You don't want to pay for mid journey. Well, you can create your own Laura and train it directly on the website so that you can generate images in the exact style of the exact character that you would like. All we have to do is go to the create button up here in the top right, and we're going to go to train a Laura. Now to train a Laura, the first thing it's going to ask you is, would you like to train a Laura on a specific person, character? Is it going to be realistic or anime? Do we want to do it more on a style, like a time period, an art style or a general look or feel? Or is it more of a concept, objects, clothing, anatomy, different poses of the body, etc.? Um, for this example, we're going to do a character and we're going to call this Lo-Fi Girl V2 because this is something that I have set up already. And if I click next, what you're going to have to do here, I have a zip drive of these images of this girl that I generated a few times that I really, I just like the way these images look i like the style i like what she's wearing i like the expression it just it feels very lo-fi wispy anime to me and i enjoy that so what i did is i generated a couple of these i have one two three four five six seven seven images all together typically the more images you have the better we'll say somewhere between like 10 and 30. okay um you're going to put all of these into a zip file and you're then going to just drop that zip file right there. It's going to load your images. And if you've never done this before and you're just getting started, we make it super easy. Uh, there are these things called captions, which are like tags. What do you want described in the image? We have a wonderful 
auto tagger on the website that makes it super easy to do this for you. If your images are very complicated and there's a lot going on and there's something specific you want out of it, you're going to want to make sure to add your own caption manually. However, we can just click auto tag. I'm not going to mess with any of these settings. If you want to, you can put keywords that you want included. You're going to you can put words that you do not want included and you can change the maximum number of tags and the threshold. By default, these settings are set to stuff that give pretty consistent good results across the board. So we're just going to go ahead and hit submit. So after we hit submit, it actually shows us the tags and the captions that it put on each one of the images that we put in our zip file. Now from here, we can look through these and we can go ahead and add any captions that we feel are missing. But let the auto tagger do it first. Otherwise, you might just be doing a lot of footwork for nothing. We do ask you to confirm whether you own the rights to these images or not. I do because I generated these all myself and you can choose to share your data set or not. For this example, I'm going to leave that unchecked. And when we click next, now after we submit the images and our captions, we come to this last screen where it's gonna ask you what base model do you want your LoRa to be trained on? Stable Diffusion 1.5 or SDXL? If it's Stable Diffusion 1.5, we can choose the standard model, anime, semi-realistic, realistic, or we can do Stable Diffusion XL, which is good for both realistic, hyper-realistic, and anime. So if you're just using this to get really good imagery to then animate, I would suggest doing XL, but you can't go wrong with 1.5 either. For this though, we're gonna click XL. There's no need for us to mess with any of the advanced settings as they're set pretty good to get really good consistent results. And this does cost 500 buzz of our on-site currency, but that is a really, really small amount of buzz that you can gain relatively quickly just by interacting with people's images and liking and le leaving comments and whatnot. We're going to go ahead and run this. I'm gonna turn high priority on. It says my ETA is an hour. We're gonna submit that, confirm. And then it takes us to our Laura trainer. Luckily, I had already trained a Laura on this particular set of images earlier. So let's take a look at what that gave me. So these are images I got that were based on the images that I gave it, except recreated with SDXL, which now is pretty good. And now I can generate this character in any situation consistently with any stable diffusion Excel model. And after I publish the Laura when it's done, I can use it on the website inside of our on-site image generator. So at no point do I have to leave the website to do any of this or do any of it locally on my PC or on my Mac. It's just a really nice way to do something that used to be really difficult to do relatively quickly and with ease and get really good consistent results. Now at the end, it's gonna tell you which training group it recommends you use, but it gives you options. So go through and look at all the different images for all of them and see which one you like best because there are different styles in here. And then you can either download the Laura, use it locally or publish it and share it with other members of the community. So these are the three main ways that you can utilize Civitai.com for your AI film or animation for the Project Odyssey contest and beyond. One, find your model. Two, create and gather your imagery. Or three, train a Laura so that you can get a consistent character or style and create imagery that is completely custom to yourself. We hope this was helpful. We can't wait to see what you create and submit to the Project Odyssey AI film competition. Remember, go check out projectodyssey.ai. Hit us with a like and subscribe if you found this helpful, and we'll catch you in the next one, civitai.com.